Assalamualaikum. My name is Sunil, and you are all welcome to this virtual training class for Informatica MBA. Okay. So the topic for today is staging table. Okay. So what is a staging table? Staging table is something that holds the data source wise. Let's say if you have 50 different sources, then you need to create 50 different staging tables, and then finally you need to load the staging table data into the base object. Okay, so staging table is the next, is the previous step of the base object load. So here we go. So how do you create a staging table? So you have to create a staging table once you have created the base object. It cannot be created independently. So let's say we have created a uh, base object named as cut. Okay. So now if you click here, by default it will total table as zero. Now what you need to do is, so if you want to create the table, so you, you need to acquire the log because I have already acquired the log. I do not need it. Okay. But if you are creating it for the first time, you need to acquire the log. So then you right click here and change table. So here you go. You give the name. You can just call cut. Let's say it is for the IDD. Then the IDD. Okay. So here you provide the information about the source. As you can easily see here. Okay. See here uh, these are these are all the source system. So let's say I have chosen to provide the data director. And this option preserves source system keys. What it means is. By default, row ID underscore object will be a system generated key, and that will be the primary key of the staging table. But what will happen is, if you choose this option, whatever PK SRC object or whatever primary key is coming from the source will be stored in the row ID underscore object. Okay, so this is an optional option. You might want to use it, or you might not. So here you can see these are all the particular options here. But as you can see, we have not created any columns. That is the reason why we cannot see anything here. So I am just showing you. See, we have not created any columns. This is the system column. Okay, this is the default column. So uh, let's say uh, let's create a column called as uh, something. Okay. So okay, let's keep it as that. Then save it. Okay. Okay, now we go to this. We add a staging table. C underscore cut underscore ID. Here we go. See, as you can see, the column is displayed now. Okay. So if you want, you can select this column. If there are 200 columns, then all 200 columns will be displayed here, and you can select them. If you can, if you want, you can select all of them, or if you want, you can select only those columns that. Contribute to the contribute data to the base object. Please do not select unnecessary columns. Okay, that will decrease the performance of the system. Now we are almost done. As you can see, there are the few options like cell update. Cell update means by default, let's say Amit Sharma is there in the target. Okay, the name the name is Amit Sharma, and from the source also the same name Amit Sharma is coming. But the thing is, the last update has been changed. So by default, Informatica will update that row in the target. That is the default uh, behavior of Informatica and VM. But that is not good because we know that that particular row actually has not changed. So what we can do if we select this option, in those cases, a update will not be done. Okay, so this is something that is lookup system name, lookup table, and lookup column. If uh, you need to configure this, if uh, if you have a data model, or you can say if uh, data is related to other tables, then you need to do this. Okay, so and allow null update and allow foreign key. Allow foreign key is very easy. If data is relational, then you might uh, want to allow foreign key if you think that something the foreign key is missing. Okay, and if you select that, the record will succeed. And if you do not do that, then they will fail. They will not total convert. And this option allow none of this. This is a bit complicated, but what you can uh, say is by default none values. Informatica has provided very less uh, trust score to none values. But if you select this option, so even if the value is none. Informatica will still treat that as a normal value. So what will happen if you select this? 
chances are uh, there that null values will update not null values. For example, uh, in AM is Amit Sarma is present in the name column already in the uh, master record and from the source null is coming. So if null has a higher trust score then basically what will happen is the uh, name will be updated with the null value. So that depends. Uh, there is requirement you might want to use it otherwise you may not want to use it. So that's it. Then you say ok. So this is it. The table table is created. Now again there are uh, multiple options about uh, this table table as you can see. This uh, is around, these are all the properties. This is where the, the columns you can see. You can uh, set up the local information. Settings information is disabled. The reason being you have not created any mapping. So if you want to create the mapping, this option will be enabled. Okay? So this is it. This is a short uh, demonstration of uh, about uh, taking tables in Informatica Hub. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this class. Thank you for listening and uh, wait for the next video. Thanks.